ashes even. And we want to do the same with those four and those four. Okay. We now need another rectangle. I'm going to roughly draw this around the whole lot. And this spot, this rectangle, we need to be we needs to be uh, an inch either side of this one and this one. So we know that that box was eight inches. So we need to make that the height of that ten inches, and we need it to be only half an inch beyond the last dotted line. So we know that that was 14 so we need to make that 15 so it's half an inch allowance either side and apply and make sure that's aligned to the centre of the page as well. Now to make these cut out tabs here we need to make a square and alter it. So we go to the rectangle tool and select it. And we need to make that funny shape in the corner. So select your square and your node key. And we want to click on the right hand one and just bring it out to the side and the bottom one down. and place that on the corner. Now you need to zoom in for this. Make sure that, that corner there is right on the corner there. Zoom out. We want to duplicate that. Go up to the replicate window and we want to mirror that to the right. Again, we have to put that on the corner. Let's zoom in. I think that's not bad. Zoom out. Just to make sure that they are the same, just to select both of those. I go to the alignment and align the bottom. So both of them are in alignment. We want to replicate those two um, odd shapes so they're down at the bottom. So go to the replicate window and we want to mirror those below and drag those down. Let's just zoom in on those to see whether they need any more adjustment. No, nope, I think that's okay. Zoom out. Now with these four boxes selected and the large rectangle selected, holding your shift key down while you select all, you want to go to the modify window and press click subtract and that will take away those four shapes and leave this shape in the um, exclude that shape in the corner there. We'll just go back and check this there. Now what we want to do is to get these little cutouts here. Now the way I found the best way to do it I found was to make a rectangle Control F that to make a duplicate. And it's made a duplicate of something else. I didn't want to do that. I should. I want to, to duplicate that rectangle. Copy. Control V will paste that. 
I want to make this into a triangle. So if we go to the nodes, selecting the rectangle, go to nodes and you can eyeball this. Just you want to add a node into the middle of this rectangle at the bottom. You then select the right hand node and go to the point editing and delete the point. And you want to do the same to the left hand node and delete the point. We now have our triangle. So I'm going to zoom in for this. If you press down the spacebar you get a hand and while holding the spacebar down and your mouse key you allows you to maneuver around your area. And I want to go in a bit more on that and perhaps even a bit more. I want to make sure that this point is in line with the dotted lines Probably better now. I want to duplicate that so it's control F. It's not duplicating for some reason, I don't know why. Normally, when you do control F, it will duplicate what you've got, but it's not doing that. So, I'll just do the old fashioned way right click, copy, and then control V for pasting. And we now want to move that one to the top of the next dotted lines. You hit the spacebar and move over to the right. Now this one needs to be different. Select the nodes. This time I want one to add a node at the top and add a node at the bottom. I'm just eyeballing this. Not quite right, this come up. There we go. With the right um, node selected, I want to delete it. And I want to delete the left hand bottom node and I want to delete the top right hand node. So now I've got half a triangle. Zoom out and this I need to move to the top of this one. Again we can zoom in to line it up. To make sure all those are in alignment, I'm going to select all three, go to the alignment tool and align the bottom. Zoom out. I want to replicate that and I want to replicate it and mirror to the right. While they're still selected I'm just going to drag them over. Zoom in. And then just position them so they're hovering above the dotted lines. And the points are in line with the vertical dotted lines. Now I'm just going to use the side arrow key just to shift them along a bit and down arrow key just to shift it down a bit. Zoom back out. I'm going to select all those and I'm going to group them together and I want to duplicate those I'm going to mirror those below and drag them down into position. and line them up. 
I think I've inadvertently copied the dotted line on the top. Well, I'll get rid of that in a moment. But meanwhile, I'll just uh, zoom in to line these up. I'll just ungroup those, Control shift g or you can select ungroup when you right click. Now, I don't want that dotted line so I'm going to delete that and I'm going to zoom out. I'm now going to reselect all these triangles. Select this outer one, go up to the modify and select subtract. It's now created all these cutouts and these are now individual tabs for folding. Now the outside lines and these other solid lines are the cut lines and the other dashed lines are the fold lines. If you haven't gathered already, um, I neglected to say this at the beginning of the video, I apologise. I now need to reduce this as it's too big for the cutting mat so if you select your shift alt key whilst dragging it will constrain it proportionally. There you go. I will add images at the end of this video for showing you how to assemble this into a shadow box frame. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.